Hi, in this video, we are going to take a look at how to create this seamless looping marching ants effect using Swift UI. So let's get started. We can create this marching ants effect using what is called the dash face of a shape view. So let's look at how that works. To create the animated marching ant effect, we are going to use the dash face of this shape view, which is the rectangle. First, we need a state to change this property over time. So let's go and create a state. I already have this state. So let's copy that and paste here. Then we change the name to move dashes. Next, we define how we want to trigger this animation. Let's set the initial state to, for example, 50. You can use any value but later I'll show you the appropriate value to use for this dash face animation. At the moment, let's leave it as 50. We want to trigger this animation without using user interaction. So here we are going to bring the state and use it to set the final state of this animation. We have the initial state set to 50. So let's set the final state to minus 50. Next, we are going to use the state to animate the parameter dash face. You can see here it is set to zero. So let's paste the state that gives an error. By clicking here, we can fix the error. In order to see the animation, we need to add the animation modifier. The next is to define the easing function we want to use for this animation. Let's try is in out and select the one that has duration. For the duration of this animation, we are going to set it to two seconds. We then want the animation to repeat forever. So let's add the repeat forever modifier and set the parameter auto reverses to false. We can now preview to see what we have done. You can now see the dashes move along the path. But this animation is not smooth and seamless. The dashes move, stop and move again. We can make this smooth and seamless using two techniques. One, we have to change the easing function from ease in out and choose an easing function that has constant speed. So we are going to change this to linear. You can use the linear easing function to create animations that undergo constant speed. You can see it is now moving with a constant speed, but it also checks at some point. We can fix this by setting the parameter of the dash face to minimum and maximum. Let's look at how the dash face parameter works visually using Sketch and Kite. In Sketch, I have this rectangle. I'm going to export it to kite. So I'll go to kite and use the import feature. I'll go to file, import and select from sketch. I'll leave all the options as they are and click import. That is going to bring the rectangle to this document. The rectangle is outside the canvas because we didn't put it in an artboard. Let's click here to expand and remove the rectangle. We don't need a page. Let's select the rectangle and move it somewhere here. Once it is selected, we can now go to the properties inspector. The property we are interested in is the line pattern. We can use it to add dashes to this rectangle. Once we add the line pattern, we can animate the dash face. With the dash face, we can make the dashes move along the rectangle. So if I drag this slider, you can see they move to the left. 
If I drag it here, they move to the right. To create seamless and smooth animation for the dash face, we have to use minimum and maximum values. So you can see here, the minimum is minus 100 and the maximum is 100. So let's go back to the project. You can see over here, we have the initial state set to 50. So we are going to change this to the maximum, which is 100. Then we go to where we have the final state. Over here, it is set to minus 50. So let's change it to minus 100. And let's start the animation again. So by changing the dash face values from minimum to maximum, you can now see we have seamless and smooth movement of the dashes along the rectangle. So this is how to create seamless and smooth matching ants effect in SwiftUI.